guys, today I'm going to be showing you a collection video. Now, I'm going to be showing you my WWE collection. And this is a continuation from the last video. If you want to see everything before this, go check that out. I'll leave the link in the description. I believe the last pop in that video was The Fiend. So, this is everything after The Fiend. Like I said, if you want to see all that, go check that out. But, but all that being said, let's get started. I think I'm going to start with the two packs. Let's start with that. The first two pack we have is Hulk Hogan and Mr. T. I have two of these pops. Amazon exclusive. This is a cool looking two pack. Like I said, I got two. I got one opened on my TV stand. So, I like that pop. Next pop, I mentioned in the last video, but I didn't have it yet. If it's out, I didn't have it. And that is the Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair 2-pack. They're gold. They, um, they have the molds, which I'll, I'll show you in this video. It's the same mold, but it's just gold. Still a cool 2-pack. I really like that. I I hope they make more gold pops. Next one, one of my favorites in the set. This is the Rock and Sock 2-pack. Walmart exclusive. I believe this is when they had the, uh, the boiler room fight at, not the boiler, was it a boiler room fight at the, um, was it the Super Bowl halftime show? I think that's one of those. But you see the rock in his jumpsuit and he's got the title belt. And obviously mankind is in his shirt and tie. I love this two pack. Ah, uh, is that it? I feel like there's one more. If I find it, I'll show you. But next, we're gonna get to the six inches. Get to the six inches. Next is six inch Andre the Giant Walmart exclusive. This is pretty cool. I think it looks better than the regular Stanger Pop because Andre is a giant. He's big. So he's made to be a six or a ten inch pop. And I think this really, the detail in this is better than their standard size. So, again, is this the last uh, big pop? So, the last one is The Rock and Stone Cold, and this is a Moment pop. And I want to say this is The Raw before WrestleMania, was it 19? Rock and Austin 3? Because the Rock is wearing his glasses, so he's definitely Hollywood in this. Yeah, he's got the glasses, the vest, the belt buckle, so he's Hollywood. I want to say WrestleMania 19. This is a really cool uh, moment pop. It's different. It's got the ring, and I think they're making another one. I gotta see. If they are, it'll be in my next collection. Wrestling collection. So I push that to the side. Let's get to the standard pops. First, we got Walmart exclusive, The Rock. This is an artist series. And as you can tell, he's got the Brahma Bowl designed all over him. Like I said in a previous video, I think it would look better purple, but the blue, it's kind of okay. I I like it more and more the more I look at it. So, let's do this. Next, another pop I mentioned in the last video. It was out, or it was coming out, but I didn't have it yet. And that is 
the Purple Undertaker. This is Amazon exclusive and it's glow in the dark. And this is unique because it's purple. I never seen a glow in the dark pop that's a different color. And like I said, this is a previous mode to one that I have that I showed in my last video. Okay, it's the one on the back. And here's the set. So that that's a that's a dope pop. Alright. Next we have the rock. I think this is the same mode as the artist series. And he's got his microphone and you just bring it shirt. This is oh I thought this was Amazon exclusive. I guess not. It there's no sticker. It's in the cassette on the back. But this is a cool looking rock. I like this better than uh, the previous rocks that were in the last the last collection video. Alright, we're going left to right. I'm gonna try not to mess this up because in the first collection video I fucked like two rows up. So let's try not to uh first let me 78, yeah. Let me try not to mess this up. Alright. Next, we got the Macho Man. He's in a pink attire. Like a tassels and the hat. It's pretty cool. I like the detail in this. The detail in the glasses and the hat. It looks dope. Try to go through this uh, a little fast. Next, we got Mr. T. This is uh, a different pose from the two-pack. The two-pack, he's got a bar that he's, uh, what do you call it? What do you call that? You know what I mean. A bar, he's going like that. In this one, it's just him with his hand up. But looks cool. I like the mohawk. I like the attire. Next, we got... Amazon exclusive, The Undertaker. And this is from his Boneyard match against AJ Styles at WrestleMania. This looks cool. I like the American Badass kind of feel to it. I like the bandana. I like the, uh, the attire. So it's pretty cool. Amazon exclusive. We have... Diamond Edition, Ric Flair, GameStop, yeah, Games, no, yeah, GameStop, GameStop exclusive, I know I bought this on eBay, I got it for a good price, I like the robe, looks pretty cool, I like the hair, I think they did the hair pretty good, and it's just a good looking pop. It's a diamond pop because the rub is all glittery. I'm assuming that's right. Next, I showed you this in a whole video. It's Macho Man, Walmart exclusive. And if you remember, this came damaged. The idiot sent it in a yellow envelope. But it's still a cool looking pop. I like the green, you know, the detail. In the, the green attire, the tassels, the hat. I think it's the same as, uh, is it the same? Yeah, it's the same as this, but green attire. Still, uh, still a good looking Macho Man. Way better than the first Macho Man. Next, we got Austin, still called Steve Austin, and he's holding one little title. This looks pretty cool. I like this pop. The only thing bad about this pop is this is one of the first that came with the title. So there is no detail on the belts. Now there's detail. And I'll show you. I think I have one or two with the detail. I'll show you guys when it comes to it. Alright, this is 85. I gotta remember to keep up the numbers. 
Next, pop, almost dropped it. Next, we got China. Um, not my favorite pop. It's nothing really special. I mean, her attire, they could have done a better attire. Maybe, was it not velvet? Got purple attire. She got at WrestleMania. Then she beat Ivory for the, uh, uh, the Men's Championship. They could have done that, but I don't know. Not my favorite, but it's China. I'm glad they made one for her. And we're going from. No. I think I fucked it up again. Next is Edge. This is pretty cool. I like the attire, I like the rated R detail. On his crotch, paws. I think you guys can see that. And it just looks cool. The facial hair, the long hair, it looks pretty cool. I'm hoping they come out with an old school edge. You know, the like, uh, like Edge and Christian, then he had those teal looking trunks and his old logo. I always like that. So I hope. Okay, come out with that pretty soon. Um, next we got Dream McIntyre. I like this pop, uh, mainly for the face. I I think they did a good job with his hair and the beard and the facial feature. So I think they did really good with that. And I like the the jacket. Okay, they, they put that on. Show you guys the side. And it's a decent, decent looking pop. Alright, next we got Otis. And the only, the only good thing really is the money in the bank. He's holding the briefcase. Then he, uh, he won it at, is it WrestleMania? Or Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I think it was the Money in the Bank pay-per-view uh, last year because we were still in quarantine and the match was a cinematic match until the end. That was when, when uh, Rey Mysterio got tossed off of uh, the side of WWE headquarters and then he was on TV the next night. <laughs> but we got Otis. Um, okay, this is Skull Cold Steve Austin 7-Eleven exclusive. I had no idea 7-Eleven made Funko Pops or sold Funko Pops. Apparently they do, because this is not the only one I have. I have a Marshmallow, but is it a, a Marshmallow Man Funko Pop? Something like that. Um, but 7-Eleven exclusive. This Austin has two title belts. He's got the Austin 316 shirt, the classic. And I would like it even more if the belts had detail. Because again, there's no detail. The belts just look bronze, like a penny. Next one I bought on eBay, and this is GameStop exclusive, Eddie Guerrero. This is, uh, I believe it's when he won the title. I believe. I think this is his, uh, WrestleMania attire. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I think this is it. And I saw that they're coming out with a pop rides. It's Eddie Guerrero in the Low Rider. So, I gotta pre-order that. Look out for that in the next, uh, collection video. Next, we got The Rock. This is, I think it says Entertainment Arc exclusive. And this is Rock, because he's just bringing shirt and he's holding the title belt. Again, no design in the belt. 
actually there is a design it says it shows WWE I don't know if you guys can see it but it's pretty cool 25th anniversary I think that came out around I going to say Survivor Series last year because I think that's when he debuted so The Rock 25th anniversary next we got Target exclusive, Xavier Woods. My brother found this for me at Target, and he picked it up for me. This is, I think this is a WrestleMania attire. He had his hair slicked back. Yeah, I'm going to say it's WrestleMania attire. He doesn't have his trombone. I'm going to die, but Xavier Woods. Um, that was Mangy 2. This is Mangy 3. Okay. Next one is Rey Mysterio. And I love the detail in this attire. It looks way better than the original pop I have. Um, they recently came out with a glow in the dark version of this. I still need to pick that up. I think that's an Amazon exclusive, but I like this Rey Mysterio. It looks cool. We have uh, Angelo Dawkins from the Street Profits. And what I like most about this is the attire, and he's got two headbands. That's the... Uh, no, it used to be the joke around the internet that he was in NXT. He had two headbands. It was, uh, he had two headbands and he used to come out stirring the pot. I think he still does that. But, uh, Red Velvet currently does that on AEW. So, if you want to see that, definitely watch Red Velvet. She does the whole... Thing. But my test Ford. And you can't have Ford without Dawkins. Dawkins. You can't have Dawkins without Ford. And again, I like the, the attire. It, it matches Dawkins. And he's got a solo cup in his hand. And I also like, um, the chain, the chain around his neck. That's, uh, that's the detail right there. Coming down to the last, uh, five. First, we got Asuka. And they previously made, like, three Oscars. I think there was, there was one without the mask, with the mask, and... Then with a certain type of face paint, but this is the fourth Costa, and it's her new, newer attire with the green stuff coming out of her eye and out of her mouth. Uh, green mist, that's what it is. Green mist, because she started using the mist. Show you guys the side. I like this pop. We've got Jerry, the King Lawler, and this is based on his old school attire, like a crown, and, well, technically, he still wrestles, and he still comes out in this attire, but the way the pop looks, it looks like a younger Jerry, so I'm going to say it's based off of old school, Jerry the King. And it's cool, because they get to the crown and the attire. The cape, that's pretty cool. They should have had like a chase, like a, like a red attire, or red and black. That would have been cool. Next, we have the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. You can acknowledge him. 
They are Roman Reigns. He's holding the title and it actually has the WWE design in the title. That looks cool. And what did, what did it say? Wreck everything and live? Yeah. So it is Benny first, then heel. Now he's the biggest heel in WWE. And I like it. I like heel Roman Reigns. But this is dub. I like his pop.